one off the uh, mask of McFarland. Head back inside the Windsor zone. Frank Dunnick. For Johnston. Johnston having trouble controlling it. Stolen by McFarland. Centering pass it, but Chochik scores. Vincent Chochik buries it. It's 1 0 Saginaw. Well, a guy that's under the microscope with NHL scouts is this guy, Vincent Trocek, just scores a nice goal. He's having himself a good season. Currently, that's his 15th goal of season, 22 assists. He's rated at number 47 overall in the world right now by the ISS Report, International Scouting Service. He gave us a pretty good glimpse there of what he's all about. He may go higher than that, Brian. I know some scouts really like him, and some have told me that they, they see him going late first round. I thought Jim didn't get it down the boards, comes Nick Ebert. Ebert inside the zone, being bothered there by, uh, dumped on the play, Brooklyn Chip by 18. That was uh, Chirac. Done it against McFarland, steals it to the goal. Here's a shot, scores! John McFarland shorthanded, and the Spirit take a 2 0 lead. Well, we talked about John McFarland earlier, Brian and I, and uh, boy, oh boy, he's just got a fire in his belly right now. and. What a great effort. This is his first goal as a member of the Saginaw Spirit, and it's a big one as he gives the Spirit a two-goal cushion. His seventh of the season, first as a Saginaw Spirit, and it's a short-handed marker at that, giving them a lead. He just wins the puck on the boards, makes a great move, patience, and he finds a way to slide it underneath Troy, passing him. Right there, there's a great effort, stripping the puck, and it just gets under passing him. Hinder, here's Sherrod. Sherrod passed lock at center. Bogdanovic couldn't get the puck from Camaro. Played by McIntyre. Now the Spirit play it. Sherrod up across the Windsor line. Let's the shot go, passing him the save. Played by the Spirit, 41. That's a heater. Centering pass in front, and they score. Justin Kia makes it 3 0 Saginaw with 10.55 to play in the period. Tom, you and I were just talking about this guy kind of off air. Justin Kia, a little bit surprised with his. With his offensive numbers, he is one heck of a hockey player. And take a look here. I think he kicks this off of his skate once we get the replay up. But a good, uh, he's, he's a great skater, carries himself very well in the ice. He gets involved physically. Take a look here. Play down low, puck comes out. Yeah, kicks it off his right skate. And a good shot. He just reeks of hockey, that guy, Brian. Bailey up along the board, so is Kia. Wide free by Koklachev, and here he comes to center. Koklachev across the line for Lanou. Lanou with a shot to the goal. Parks to say the rebound. They score! Frank Dunnick. Just like that, it's 3 to 1 in the Spitfires. As usually their MO are usually never out of it. You know what, Bill? I was just kind of going to my notes here, and it's not very often in a period that I have to report no scoring in the first period with this Windsor Spitfire team. Well, Lanou will get one assist on Dunnick's third of the season. A huge, a huge goal for the Spitfires, no doubt. Back it up, or bank it off the boards out the center. 17 seconds up the Windsor power play. McIntyre passes to Johnston. Johnston across the line was looking for McQueen, played by Parks. Ryan couldn't knock it down. It goes to Johnston. Here's a pass to Fleck. It scores! Craig Dunnick with a second goal of the evening on the power play with just five seconds left in the Spitfires. Come within one. It's 3 2. Dunnick may have found a permanent spot up front on the power play. <laughs> Perhaps so, yep. 3.50 is the time of this goal, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Early in the period, the Spitfires pulled to within one. It's all Windsor right now. Take a look at it here. Quick shot by Johnson, and I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be Dunnick or McQueen. I think it was Dunnick. Somebody got a stick on that puck. Usually, sure. usually you can tell who's at the front of the line. You can get it. No, uh, feel a little bit put out here now. Yes, you and me both. I, yeah. well, I firmly believe it's better to receive than give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you firmly do believe. <laughs> yes, you make no secret about it. <laughs> Spirit to the goal, they score! Uh, 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 Off the draw, a heartbreaking goal by Saginaw. That's the captain who got the goal, Jordan Schwartz. Right from the faceoff, as it's you called 4 it, and, and that is huge. He beats the veteran, Steven Johnson. 
pretty dejected looking coaching staff here right now. 16 not one that they the were. Time this one. Look at this one though. Great plays. Schwartz takes it and just walks right Aye. in. Not a quick enough reaction from anyone in the white jerseys. That's a pretty goal though by Saginaw. Oh my, did he ever roof that one? Yeah, that was. Underwood plays it, pinching down his back. Entire can't keep it in lock. And a battle with Schwartz. Schwartz has an open goal and he scores. Jordan Schwartz puts it in the empty goal and that's it folks, this pit fires. We're going to drop the final contest before the Christmas break. It's five to two. Shorthanded marker. Second shorthanded goal of the night for the Spirit. The captain Schwartz seals the deal here. His 13th of the season. They win the puck behind the net here along the boards. Of course, you throw caution to the win. You pinch in at the point. Doesn't pay dividends this time. And Schwartz is able to fight off Eric Locke. And he has an easy one there. 